Hello, everybody, wherever you may be. My name is Larry. My call signs Kilo 7 Hotel November. I'd like to welcome you back to my shack here in Oregon. This is a special edition of Ham Radio Live. I want to talk to you about a very special product. This is about the MFJ 1708 SDR switch. What it does is pretty special. For those folks that might have a Kenwood 590 or possibly a Yaesu 3000, a 991A, a 5000, even could be a boat anchor like a 1000 or a 2000, hey, you have a chance to get your radio now on a pen adapter screen. You really do. Here's how it works. You simply hook up the SDR play of your choice into your receive passband. Here's how you do it. You take the MFJ1708, which is an RF sensing switch. Essentially, if you use this product, you now have the opportunity to use the SDR Play, which is a phenomenal SDR receiver in a box that's only about four inches by three inches by an inch deep. This thing is powerful, has great dynamic range numbers too. Anyway, this gives you the opportunity to have a second receiver to add to the radio you already have. But it also gives you something real special. It gives you a pan adapter screen. Yep, you can follow along on the bands and do something that your radio simply doesn't have the power to do right now. So you can now get a pan adapter screen for your transceiver. Should you decide to go with cat control, click on the mouse wherever the frequency is you find a signal, it'll tune your radio automatically to frequency. If you decide to run it separately, like I choose to, you now can tune around the bands on your transceiver and then on your computer or your laptop that's hooked up to your SDR play, you simply tune around the bands, find a frequency out there that you'd like to monitor and find good DX or find an opening, say on six meters. It works fantastic. Now, why do you need the 1708? Let me explain why. It's a very special product from MFJ. The MFJ 1708 allows the SDR play to do something the instructions for the SDR play tell you not to do, and that is transmit. It's not supposed to hook up into a transmit rig, okay? So if it's in line with a transmit antenna, they tell you not to do it. This is where the 1708 comes in. Now, it does have a 100 watt limit, so if you're using a rig barefoot, you can use this product, connect your outside antenna to the far right port, use a jumper, SO239 right here, to go from here to whatever antenna port you choose on your transceiver. And on this model, this is the 1708 SDRS, which stands for SMA, has an SMA connector that comes right out here and straight into the SMA antenna A connection on the SDR Play DX. Pretty sweet. This is a fantastic little SDR, and it allows you the opportunity to have your ham radio now have dual receive. Now you've got two frequencies you can monitor at a time, or better yet, two bands. Want to wait for an opening on six meters? You can do so on the SDR play on the left. You can transmit and have a nice rag chew on the transceiver on the right. If you want to work contesting, say for example, you'd like to go into a maybe a single operator, two receiver, but you only have one rig, this is the simple and cheapest way to save maybe a fifteen hundred or more dollars in buying a dual VFO transceiver and simply do it this way. Buy the SCR Play, but make sure you include the MFJ 1708 to protect it when you transmit. Again, 100 watts out from here will protect by relays right here. It essentially grounds out the SDR Play RF input so it's not getting hit with RF that would hurt it. So it allows you to transmit up to 100 watts on frequency and still be able to monitor everything without destroying the FCR Play receiver. It's a fantastic device, giving you the opportunity to have a second powerful receiver to whatever you have. Plus, if you don't have an output monitor, no monitor on the back, this eliminates that problem because it now gives you a monitor that you can either hook up straight to your radio, put it on the monitor size of your choice to enjoy ham radio. That's it. 
the MFJ1708 antenna switch. A great way to have your radio that doesn't have a monitor out on it to be able to see it on a big monitor, control it directly if you'd like through cat control or simply use it separately as a second receiver, but still be able to transmit on your transceiver itself. Thanks for watching everybody. Ham Radio Live is not monetized. We just ask that you subscribe. By you doing so, it helps people find the channel here on YouTube. Until next time, God bless you. Thanks for watching us here in Oregon. My name's Larry. My call sign's Kilo 7 Hotel November. Goodbye, everybody.